Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to go through and explain my updated top 10 UFC pound for pound rankings. And what I'm really focusing on is their activity in the past four years. And I think that levels the playing field a little bit more in terms of their competition because the majority of these guys either are a sitting champion or were a previous champion of some sorts. And then for more of tiebreakers, I'm looking at who they faced, how they beat them. Was it a knockout? Was it a split decision on top of how many title defenses they have so I'm really giving a lot of weight to that. So starting at number 10, I do think Tom Aspinall has to make it on this list. 7-1 and one in the past four years, and I really think that knockout win against Pavlovich is really impressive, and you gotta hand it to him. Isn't the current heavyweight champion, but is the interim heavyweight champion, and given he's going to defend his interim status, it's almost like having a second belt in the UFC heavyweight division, and he is eager to fight John Jones, so I could definitely see him going up on this list depending on how things go. At number nine, I do like Sean Strickland following that latest dominant decision win over Paulo Costa. Nine and three in the past four years. I think those nine wins are really impressive. Those three losses, I don't think you should penalize those that much because it was against Alex Pereira, who's later on this list, in addition to Duplacis, which was a pretty close split decision and Strickland was the recent former middleweight champion so I still think he should be inside the top 10 at eight I do have John Jones the only thing that really hinders John in this list is that he's only won twice in the past four years he had that light heavyweight defense against Dominic Reyes in addition to that submission win against Cyril gone at heavyweight so I think it is really impressive that he has jumped between those two weight classes but just not enough activity for me to put him any higher is looking to have another fight whether it's Tom or Stipe so I think that could definitely move him up. And at 7, I have Drikas Duplacis, 7-0 and in the past four years, and is the current middleweight champion. Again, is coming off that close split decision win against Sean Strickland, so it's possible they'll run that back and he also had that impressive win against Robert Whitaker. At six you have Ilya Taporia who's also 7-0 and in the past four years is the current featherweight champion. The reason why I have Ilya over Duplacis here is because I'm rewarding Ilya's knockout win over Alex Volkanovsky's over Duplacis split decision win over Sean Strickland and then at five I'd have Sean O'Malley eight and one in the past Last four years is the current bantamweight champion. Only thing that really puts him above Ilya Taporia, even though he does have an extra win, but also has that weird loss where he got hurt, is that Sean O'Malley has a title defense. And then at four, I'd have Alexandre Pantoja, six and one in the past four years, current flyweight champion. And the reason I have him above O'Malley is that extra title defense. And then at three, I have Leon Edwards. 4-0 in the past four years is the current welterweight champion also has two title defenses so I think there is a little bit of an argument you could maybe flip-flop these but I like Leon Edwards just a little bit more than Pantoja on this list because I really like not only his knockout win against Usman but beating him a second time after Usman was really dominating the welterweight division and then also had his second title defense against Colby Covington at number two, you could make the argument for him being number one. I do have Islam Makachev here. 8-0 in the past four years is the current lightweight champion. He is clearly above Edwards, not only by those additional wins, but also has an extra title defense coming off that dominant victory against Dustin Poirier. But here, I think Alex Pereira, you really have to give it to him. 8-1 in the past four years. And I don't think that Israel Adesanya lost should 
should penalize him because he did win the first fight and I think why you got to give it to Pereira is that he's ran through two divisions in the past four years really since making his UFC debut is the current light heavyweight champion does have a title defense beating Jamal Hill via first round knockout which I think is really impressive and then was the former middleweight champion when he beat Adesanya the first time on top of his Yuri knockout so I really think you got to hand it to Alex Pereira but really a lot of excellent fighters on this list I think this is a great time for the UFC and I think all of these guys could continue to reign as champions but until there's any other changes that's just my pound for pound rankings based on those past four years and the criteria that I laid out so really appreciate you guys watching feel free to let me know your top 10 picks and I'll see you later